What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex. In this video I want to talk about if the Emperor is going to control or is controlling Rey, and this is directly off of the footage, um, the behind the scenes, you know, the people that were only at the D23, the Expo Hall, where they showed the new Rise of Skywalker footage. So I want to kind of talk about it a little bit, I'm sure all of you, especially if you guys are watching this video, you've probably already heard, but I want to talk about what it could mean, and try and connect it to some other leaks slash rumors that we've already gotten on the Rise of Skywalker. So, pretty much, the the uh, clip that we got to see, or they got to see, I should say, I was not privileged enough to be there, um, was Rey and Kylo fighting, and then at the very, very end, you see Rey with the Sith, the black robe, and then you see her red lightsaber, right? And they say that it can split apart like, the, like a la Darth Maul, basically. And that was a pretty big jaw-dropping moment that we had heard uh, happen. So Rey, in that scene, seemed, you know, for all intents and purposes, seems to be evil. Now, the question is this. Which avenue is it? And there's a lot of different ones we can go down. One of the ones I originally thought of was that. And we've heard leaks. We've heard. I don't really necessarily want to call them leaks. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. We're massive Star Wars fans. I try and keep on the lookout for these rumors. There were so many quote-unquote leaks leading into Episode Eight. Some of them were true. A lot of them were not true. There's been equally, if not ten times more, for Episode Nine. And I cannot personally, I will not believe all of them. I'll believe some of them, you know, some of them, in, uh, you know, kind of warrant further investigation, but I'm not believing all of them. One of the more recent ones that the, is that the Emperor is going to, like, physically control Kylo, that he's pretty much taken over. Now, that would be, you know, it seems about right. Like, it seems like something Star Wars could do with, you know, in terms of, like, mind control and even what we've seen the Emperor do to Anakin even back in Episode 3. I mean, it's something that is definitely possible in that world in terms of that kind of force power, but literally taking over one's body, like having you, basically being possessed, right? That's taking it one step further. It's totally possible with these force ghosts. We don't know how powerful the Emperor's force ghost is going to be. So, you know, do I buy that? Well, I buy it more than, you know, some theories. And again, there's so many out there. I, I don't really want to call them leaks because I, I don't, I don't know if I can believe them all, but following that through. If the Emperor can control Kylo, it's possible that uh, that the Emperor is also or can also very, very briefly control Rey. I don't think it would be a full thing. And this was the first thing I jumped to. I don't personally know if I believe that. I don't even know if I believe myself. I mean, that's like the central point of this video is, is he going to control her? I will honestly say no, only because this could very well just be a vision. I truly believe it could just be a vision, and the only reason I say that is because of who the man who's making this movie, J.J. Abrams. And, and again, I'm, I'm kind of reaching. The only evidence we have to suggest something like that is really Episode 7, when Rey obviously hears Luke's lightsaber, which is really Anakin's, calling to her, and then she experiences all of these visions. She's transported to all these places, right? And, you know, she does, I mean, she technically changes. She, she sees herself as a child, but her physically, she, she does not change. Now, that's not to say that what they saw in the trailer, and I do want to, I would like to personally see it. I'm sure it'll be part of the next trailer we see for Star Wars, um, you know, it could very well be that they're just hiding the fact that Rey is looking at herself um, in that image. So, yeah, she could be in the, the cloak, and yeah, she could have the red lightsaber and all that stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean it's that's the Rey, you know, that is actually Rey. It could very well just be the Emperor showing her a vision, or the Emperor tricking her. It could just be a trick. Um, but, you know, they could just be hiding the fact that Rey is in the background somewhere, literally like to the right of the camera or whatever, looking at that happening. I mean, to me, that seems a little bit more likely than the fact that maybe if the Emperor's controlling Kylo, I don't know if the Emperor would also control Rey, although it would make sense. It would kind of be the same thing as a Snoke, where, you know, Snoke takes Kylo as his apprentice, but really he's like, you know what? Rey is better. Rey's stronger. Rey's more powerful. Rey's more, like, untapped. I can I can go after her. And, you know, they always kind of dump Kylo. And in a way, I mean, that's kind of what the Emperor did with Darth Vader, right? Emperor took Darth Vader, or Palpatine took Darth Vader, or Anakin at the time, as his apprentice. Episode, you know, three, four, five, six happened, but then it's like, well, you know, Luke is younger. He's not, you know, he hasn't been through it all like Darth Vader has. If we can turn him, really, I would prefer Luke over Vader. And that's the Emperor's whole train of thought in episode six, right? Is we need him. And, you know, towards kind of the end, not the very end, but he's like, you know, I could really use Luke over Vader. I think he'd be way, way better. In fact, to the point of where he says, like, just, just kill him, take him out because I need you. It could honestly very well just be mimicking. 
episode six where maybe the emperor is controlling Kylo and and then again there's been leaks and that's and the leaks say that that's why Ray and and Poe and Finn are going to the De uh, Death Star. I don't necessarily know why they'd have to go to the Death Star to stop that, but um, you know it could be possible where the emperor is controlling Kylo and then no and then thinks about it and says you know what he's powerful yeah but she. You know, she could also be it maybe, and maybe it's, you know, through Bloodline, Kylo is technically, or Ben Solo is technically a Skywalker, so, but then he could look at it and say, well, you know, Rey, she, is she born of the Force? Is she born of Leia? You know, whatever. Maybe she's just more powerful, and it's like, I would actually rather control her. He controls her. They do the, you know, the, the hero movie moment where she breaks out of it. I mean, it's possible. This could be towards the very end of the movie, or like the third act of the movie, and this, you know, it could take place 5, 10, 15 minutes where she could be evil and then she could turn it all around but honestly what's stopping it is really like the fact that she's in like a suit or like an outfit and has a red lightsaber it's like if you're going to possess her and you're gonna like have full control right do, are you gonna make like a, are you gonna take the time to like get the wardrobe out and, and make her a lightsaber and stuff and then for five to ten minutes later she's just gonna turn all around and you know force grab her blue lightsaber again like is that how it's going to work and I don't really know I you know I feel like the final confrontation would be Kylo versus Rey so it's it's uh, and like and so honestly it's tough to believe it's tough to believe that it would be a, a possession or a control because it's like you do you even need to use that kind of uh, storytelling medium I don't really think you you have to I think it could very simply be the Emperor is very very powerful he can make them see things that you know or he could even tell them he could say like I'm gonna show you this he shows her and you know it doesn't have to be a painful thing he doesn't have to be torturing her he doesn't have to you know be inside her head in a in a I was gonna say negative way in like a forceful and like a hurting her way it could just simply be like this is the kind of power because we don't know what else could be in that scene maybe she uses some sort of force power we haven't seen before maybe she uses force lightning and maybe he's showing her like this is the kind of power that I can give you if you just let me that's very possible it could just be a vision of what could be if she just turns sides and becomes evil and that really does kind of stick with the theme of Star Wars yet again if there is possession slash like control is that that's a theme in this movie then it, it, it actually you know it's not so far to believe that it could actually be that he's possessing her. So I see either side. I think with the history of J.J. Abrams, again, with that kind of dynamic, everybody really loved that scene in Episode 7 where, you know, you hear Obi-Wan, you hear Yoda, you, you, you see the Knights of Ren. I mean, that whole scene is one of the best scenes, not just in Episode 7, but really since Star Wars has come back, it's probably top three scenes, in my opinion, in, in anything we've seen yet. It really is. It, had, it was so cool. It had so much potential. And honestly, I feel like they know that. They know that Fans really like that scene. It was a lot of like wonder and mystery there, and you know JJ did that, so JJ could say, "Well, let's mess around with her mind again. Let's let's do some different things." It could be how I mean the rumor has it that Force Ghosts appeared, not just Luke, but also Anakin, Obi Wan, Yoda. So maybe they they can introduce them in some way there. So there's a lot of things that can't happen. I'm going to say to answer my question, to answer the title of this video, I'll say no for now. I'll say that he's not controlling Ray. It's just a vision. But I think the potential is there for it I think it's a cool idea and you know again if there is control happening with Kylo I think it's possible that it could then happen to Rey but until I know for a fact that's happening and again so many leaks so many rumors they can't all be true I don't know if they could all be false but they definitely can't all be true so I'll wait to see on that one but if that happens then possibly right guys let me know in the comments below what do you think what do you think is happening with Rey why do you think she is you know has a red lightsaber has the the Sith cloak you know what do you think's going on in that scene let me know make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now hit that bell icon and we do these videos often every time we kind of get Star Wars news we tend to make Star Wars videos we're gonna be kicking off our Star Wars Rise of Skywalker community series in October so we got lots of episode 9 content coming to the channel so if you guys like Star Wars make sure you stay tuned because we will be covering this movie um, quite a bit coming up over the next not just few weeks but also months so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you on the next video